fans in the corner. Knocked over because I can't even bother to pick it back up. And I guess. Life, man. Year is almost up. And the 21st birthday is in just about three weeks. And I feel like I have nothing to show for. Like I haven't done anything tangible in the last few years. I'm just fucking meandering. Let myself waste time, opportunities, and above all, my own fucking patience. At this point, this is being so pretty. This is more just a little mental girl. If I do see this, it means I actually did decide to upload this video. There's a lot of things on my mind that I can't find a single one ever that I want to put my fucking thumb on. It's like a rolling of chaos daily and I can barely ever keep my fucking head straight long enough to even deal with the shit that I actually should be worrying about and then worry about the random things that I want to distract myself with leaving me in a weird state. Never seem to just get it right. Even in middle school. Always had missing assignments. High school. Oh, I graduated early. I've done that in two years. If I really fucking cared. At this point, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Mean. I don't even want to waste. I don't want shit to be in for me in a silver color. I just. I want an answer. Something I have to come up with on my own, but... You know, I... Never had a clear one. And this should ever make sense. Thinking about it. I don't miss you. I don't miss life. To experience life. But I feel like I'm stagnant. This allergy attack the motherfucking clown. I don't really see what more I can do but just continue to reside. Allowing the waters to accumulate more filth. But, and again, never was very spiritual or religious. I was always very skeptical growing up. And all that up and now is just nihilism. There used to be many interests I had when I was younger, and now I can't even find one that even is something I want to pursue. Just something that I have as an interest in really well. I hate it. If I truly could just put the energy I had for the understanding of it, to really dive into it and understand it even more and truly make it my own, make a craft, a career, or something. Perhaps I could have found myself in a better place, but even then, through my own undoing, I put myself in this position with my own hands, I'll fall my way. Even if it feels hopeless right now, I'll make it someday, so they'll say. Why not today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next fucking year? This point, who cares? Time is an object, and that object doesn't exist, but time is a concept that exists without the action of man. It's something we've merely acknowledged as a fast of reality itself, therefore meaning. 
Well, I put up the sprint on things that need to be done. If anything, that's my biggest props. Time. I don't like setting deadlines. I don't like goals. I don't like having something that is so intangible, such as time, be my opponent for. You can't fucking do time. For the winds and sands of time are none too kind to look for all that, and none to the stranger. Leaving them worse for wear as time goes on. Okay. I believe this conversation's over. Three weeks. I still have no phone as it's being repaired still since the frame got busted when I dropped it this time. Meaning that it had to be a special part ordered to fix the damn thing. And... I'm just frustrated with myself. For today especially. I really don't feel like I'm even a functioning human being at this point. The last month and this month I feel like all I do just fuck up. When I started my first month at this new job I got, there were several days where I'd literally just sleep in like a fucking dumbass. I don't understand how it happened, but I did. Because I knew I wasn't that tired. I knew that I had an alarm and magically just like a fucking log. And feels like I'm green as the fucking grass that lays outside my goddamn front door. Like, I was born fucking yesterday or something. And it makes me feel like a fucking chump. Top of that, I've had debt on my name since I was 18. Clean. Eh, need I remind myself that I'm 21 in less than three weeks again? Actually, no. Just slightly over three, but... Point standing. And... I make fucking pennies. I don't do anything to try and better my position. But at the same time... Would want to after being burned so heavily several times over trying to fucking put their everything in it. At this point, I want to give up. I've wanted to give up since it was not even up to my own fucking knee. Yet every day, I wake up, and so I say, fuck it. Might as well get on with it. But I don't know how many more fuckets I have left in me. I've already learned how quickly that mentality can lead someone down a fucking hole. I've seen rock bottom before. I don't plan on going back, but... At this point... This ain't no rock bottom, but I'm pretty down on the barrel. I feel like at this point, all I want to do is just fucking go out in a blaze of glory. From some fucking cage fighter or some shit. Or perhaps even. Just disappear. I was never long for this planet. This planet was too long for me. Never asked to be born, yet here I stand. Or better yet, sit, I guess. There are many facets of reality that confuse me and intrigue me all the same. And yet, they never were intriguing enough to make me want to study it. Or was something confusing enough for me to want to crack the code and understand it. For 
The things that intrigued me, I had learned to a point where I felt my knowledge was succinct enough that if someone mentioned it in passing, I could at least have a conversation to gather more insight. Yet, I sit in a position where my passing knowledge reaches that more into somewhat of an intermediate level. Not everything, but just enough. And those things that used to confuse me so, well, there's not many things that confuse me these days aside from the things that have always been confusing, yet I understand too well now. It fucking sucks. It's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place, the hard place being your own fucking brain and that rock. Well, let's we'll just say that rock might as well be a live piece of magma spewing from the ground as you lay, feeling as your skin turns into that of a fricassee, vividly burning so crisply, looking like nothing but some leather jerky. Oh, by Jove, how I would have loved to have done so much more, and yet, I squandered it. Everyone always told me, enjoy your youth, do the things you want to do, because once you get older, everything's not fun and games no more. Yet, in that same breath, they never really did try and push me to get out of my comfort zone and do such a thing. I was never really pushed to do that one thing I really wanted to do. For, I had interest in something. Sometimes I'd even mention it, and act upon it, and rather than have someone take it and try and make something more out of it for me, they just left me to my own vices, if anything, even when I was younger, say before 15, it kind of poked fun at it a bit, not making fun of me, but they'd make little, uh, offhand jokes and comments, slowly sequestered that interest, that intrigue, leaving me a cacophony of abandoned passions. It's intriguing how it goes. At the end of the day, all I yearn for not even success, nor is it even the ability to say that I'm surviving. I want peace, but life is not peaceful, never was, never will be, and so we carry on with our ways of madness. As one says, the definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. A wise man once said, I dare not try and quote who said so originally, but I will say such a phrase. For I sit in a phase between space and time. There is been experienced by many people before me, and will be experienced many after my own. Yet all the same, why must I experience the same thing someone else did if it brought them so much grief, sorrow, and misery? For why not give someone the opportunity they seek? Why not? Allow them to find their passions. They, they bit the hand that feeds. So now you rescind your offer. Now, it's up to them. To claw, tooth and nail, just to get what they want. It'll happen. But it might just damn near kill me. I hate life, but there is love in life that I see, and it truly does 
hurt these days. I remember, uh, I think about a week ago now. No, two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago now. I was in Mexico. And sure enough, while I was there, they actually had surprised me even and decided to wish me a happy birthday. Even singing, you know, the wonderful song copyrighted by the, by whoever the fuck originally copyrighted said content. And it hurt. As I don't even remember uh, the last year that happened. Or the year before. I just remembered being told happy birthday. Told, do good shit, be good. I told his guns. But this year, they sang to me. I wanted to cry. Because it felt something I hadn't felt in a while. Love. funny the way humans are social creatures, yet some of these social creatures called humans crave isolation. They don't mind the presence of others, but they prefer their own company. But even someone as such requires that they experience love. That love isn't taught isn't gained is merely a facet that we all contain it all the same it pertains to one simple thing the nurturing guidance of existence itself maybe I will have a family of mine as I'm older Maybe I'll experience romance so deeply entwined into my existence that it becomes my only goal in life. Or perhaps I will truly attain success of the nth degree and find myself in my element. But until then, I must rest. Not that sleep is very restful for me, as a matter of fact, it is no longer much a challenge. It is merely just yet another distraction from the things that are important. I might as well just go to bed. I will find myself in a better place. It won't be next month, two, three, or even six. But I will be somewhere. Now where the pastures are greener. Now where the money is more intrinsically valued. Just simply better. And with that, truly, I am done.